I was about to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Welcome back. This is your Get best you 15 money, good man. minutes out Get here. Black man. Here you are <laughs> with Kurt. Get out. And my best partner in crime. Shy. Hey, y'all. Hey, real <laughs> quick. <laughs> Mama, I made it. We are on, we on iTunes. Thanks to y'all. Podcast. Podcast. Check that out. You can listen to us as you drive to work. Yeah. No more looking at the YouTube and driving. We are keeping you safe. Thank you. Say thank you because we just saved your life. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you see, she's all the way lit right now. And uh, look at she still has the same energy. Because oh, uh, I'm back from the shy. Speaking of the shy, we got Kanye. And Kanye say what? Kanye say what? Oh, Kanye. Bruh. I don't know, bruh. I don't know. These last few weeks have been crazy. This has been just an emotional roller coaster for me. You and I both? You too? Yeah. I was I had high hopes and then he just let me down. And then I had high hopes again. I thought there was gonna be like a uh, mm. intervention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well he had the intervention though. Trouble but man, shout out to T.I. stepped in and talked to him. But they got he the whole song. But he didn't uh he didn't recoup like recover. He's still in that sunken place so he like you know i'm a, I'm a huge fan of charlemagne the god ti yeah, and uh charlemagne. what they say makes sense kanye's superpower is also his biggest biggest weakness mm -hmm. to the point where i'll tell you you can't do this he goes and does, does it, it and it's wow you know what i mean like jesus walks wasn't supposed to be Right. A huge hit. Wasn't supposed to get radio play. Wasn't supposed to be mainstream. Look at it. And it's one of the best songs he's ever done. Hip hop classic. But this right here, my homie, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, uh, I've, yes, okay. I understand. Like, okay. I'll give you my, my roller coaster. My, my ride. Take this ride with you. Let's go. <laughs> so, well, mic dropped. Sorry, guys. Bloopers. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just excited. I've got a podcast. Can't, can't this is great. So. so when he first started tweeting again and saying all this stuff, I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. Kanye's a genius for real. Like he's very, very intentional about the thing. Well, this was my thinking. He's very intentional about the way he moves. So there has to be a method to the madness, right? Mm. So I'm like, yeah, Kanye, what you got, bro? What, what remarkable ideas do you have that are about to come out? And then I'm thinking like, Personally, when he when he wore the Make America Great Again hat, <laughs> I was thinking that he was going somewhere else with that, because personally, like when Trump was elected, who? Trump. Who? Forty five. Okay, I know who that is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> when forty five was elected, I thought, you know, even though he's not he a good person, he's a terrible person. But it was a good thing to happen because it was going to cause us to come together and kind of like join forces and make stuff happen, right? I thought that was like one of the best things that happened to the black community is it's going to cause us to join forces. Um, but then when he started talking a little bit more, I was like, oh, that's not where he's going. I don't know. I don't know what this whole Make America Great thing is for him. I don't, I don't get it. Can't make America great again because it was never great right. for us. Point blank, period. Um, I'm not wavering in that at all. Yeah, well, it was never um, great for us. So the hat, toss the hat. His comment about slavery being a choice. That's, that was the dip of my roller coaster. <laughs> we have a choice to steal allow our minds to be enslaved our actions the way we move and the way we handle each other to be enslaved where we are right now we are still in slavery mm -hmm. we're not unified rarely do we come together mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. when we do come together we only come in together after something major has happened or for a brief period of time or for a short period of time mm -hmm. right we shouldn't be asking are we still st boycotting starbucks I never was boycotting Starbucks. Starbucks, real quick. Wait, were we supposed to boycott Starbucks? Folks said we should, but I'm I'm not mad that. at I'm not mad at Starbucks. But what I am mad at is Waffle House. 
So boycott Waffle House. Yeah. Burn them mother freakers down. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not, I just had a, a Frappuccino yesterday. Yeah, you, okay. you, yeah, so, I got you. But yeah. like, <laughs> I understand what Kanye is trying to say. He just needs a translator to say it. Like, real, like, for those that have ever been to court, <laughs> when you walk in, the judge asks you if you need a translator. Like, all his interviews, he needs a translator. Because <laughs> he needs someone to, like, decrypt what he's saying. His heart's in a good place, and I understand he's on, like, I'm trying to overpower the hate with love. But you have to be very meticulous in how you do that and what you say when you say these things and what you wear. Because that hat to, the, to us represents something totally different. The hat different. to the oppressed is more oppression, right? But He might as well put a KKK hood on his head. That pretty much was the KKK hood, though. That that's our modern day grand, KKK yeah, hood. Grand Wizard, grand Wizard whatever. Grand, grand Wizard. Yeah, he wanted them. But no, like like the brother said at TMZ, he said, "I understand you. You're trying to show how to cover overcome hate with love, but by standing next to the person that is margin the marginalizing us and attacking us and killing our people and putting our people in jail, that's not the way to do it." That would have been like a Jew standing next to him. And saying, "We're going to overcome this with love." No, that's not. He's Let's going, hug it out. He's going to you to him. He, you are another black man, another target. He's not looking. Forty five ain't looking at Kanye like that. As dumb as Ben Carson has been, <laughs> he hasn't said anything <laughs> this remotely <laughs> stupid. He's like, I'm going to stay in Vienna <laughs> and I ain't getting in it. My name Bennett and I ain't in it. Literally. <laughs> Literally. No. Yeah. Like, I, um, Condoleezza ain't said nothing stupid like that. Yeah. Mm -mm. And then like, you know. I mean, I, to the point I, I understand, Ye has, since mom has passed, you know what I'm saying, like R.I.P. Dr. West, um, he hasn't been himself. And he even said that, like, he said, what did he say when he first started popping off back, what, a couple years ago, he was on opioids, right? Listen, he that's said a he serious addiction. He said he was on opioids because he got lipo. And he said he was just... <laughs> I'm just, re just regurgitating what he was saying. That's why I started okay, laughing. They need to stay where they were at. But that's why I started laughing. I'm not laughing about the opioids because that is a serious problem. But because he had lipo, that's why I got opioids. But he was saying he was tripping, right? But I still think his. <laughs> still think. So hold on, real quick. They said that he was. So did he have a fat transfer or he just took it out? He didn't do it to get his butt bigger or nothing no, like that, right? No, he took it okay. out. He didn't put it in Kim? He said. He said. <laughs> he put it in Kim. He probably put it in Kim. No, ahead, but man. he said that we are pretty much we're enslaved to to um, society because we have to please society. And they were talking about how he gained weight. And he said, because of y'all, I went and got lipo because I was sick of y'all talking about how I gained weight. And then the turn, he, he said, I got hooked on opioids. So it's pretty much our fault that he's on opioids. But he's about free thinking. So y'all <laughs> not free thinking. <laughs> I'm about to say something I wasn't supposed to say. I'm glad I caught myself. But that's not free thinking. Yeah, but he blamed, pretty much blamed us for getting on opioids and making him tweet and talk crazy. So he, no, them the drugs talk. and your insecurity. So then he said he backed off opioids. So now he's only take, he's not only taking them uh, twice a month. <laughs> he said, you got to watch the video. You got to watch it. Yeah. So he's still, his state of mind is still, he's still a little Diminished. rocky. Yeah. And I, I think, and I place mental health because I think like the trauma of him losing his mother affected his chemistry in his brain. And that is definitely true. And traumatic. we can talk about this on another show, but that really creates mental illness. Well, like, not just him, but think about our, not our heroes, but uh, our stars or celebrities that have lost a loved one. Mm -hmm. Like they've all hit a point where it was just like, wow, what's going on with them? Mike abruptly stopped playing basketball, went to baseball, and sucked at it. Yeah. Tiger <laughs> was hitting any hooters girl he could find. <laughs> um, I mean, yay, yay tripping right now. Like, yeah. I, I mean, if you think about it, uh, is that when Bill started slipping pills when his son passed? Bill? Oh, Bill Cosby? Uh, no, that was before. Oh, so he been. Yeah, something. his son was probably was like a baby. Oh, so he's been popping pills, sorry. Tried to bail you out, Bill, ain't gonna happen. Um, yeah, so like, yeah, you're right, though. Like, mental illness definitely probably plays a part because I, I was, he should be seeing someone about that. Exactly. And, and he's not. 
and I think being and I, uh, I'm being in that we're family friends. too. We're friends. I can't be your therapist. Exactly. I'm not you, professionally you to be, equipped right. to give you what you need. And I, he, I think he really needs help. Like, and then from that, the TMZ interview, you could tell some just is not right with him. Like, even when the dude kind of like read him, and he wanted to hug the dude. Like, like don't, don't touch me. Touch don't me. touch me. Cause <laughs> like, I understand you're trying to overcome everything with love, but bruh, do not touch me. Like, it's just something up with Did him. Did you hear what he said about the swastika? Right? Did I say it right? The swastika? The, yeah. the German symbol? The Nazi symbol? Yes. So in India, it means something totally yeah. different. And that's what that's why he put the hat on. Yeah. That was his nah, inspiration bro. behind the hat. He saw that, saw the logo, the emblem in India, and was like, yo, I'm about to put the hat on, and I'm going to represent something different, bro. Bruh. Burn the hat. That's, that wasn't a good, I don't think that was a good idea. And then like, so then Tip said he talked to him for four hours. Four hours. I believe it. And he said he uh, he thought he had a moment where it was like it clicked. And then Ye was like, but nah, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, nah, bro, because that's that who, yeah, bro, gonna do. Uh, Leave the hat where it's at, like at your neighborhood surplus. <laughs> no, Goodwill, burn it. Don't allow whatever. anybody else to wear the hat. Don't burn the hat. Don't burn the hat because that gives it attention. Don't give the hat power. No, don't, don't, burn, don't, even don't wear it. burn it in public. Do it in the comfort of your own home and burn it mm. in the bathtub. Mm. Do a left eye. That's some crazy. That's some crazy, crazy, man. <laughs> but no, like, I am curious, though. Like, after listening to, what, People vs. Ye? Mm-hmm. After hearing that, I'm curious to see what his next steps are. Like, how is he going to really create this platform of overcoming hate with love? and making America for us, right? I'm curious to see how his steps are going to be after this. Where's Chris Jenner at? She ain't speaking on this. No, she should, though. Like, she's been, like, the... She's the queen of PR. She's, like, the... She high. She, she high. should fix this. She needs she to fix this. She ain't gonna fix it, because they probably set him up to be like this. Mm, they, they probably they, set him up to do this. That's what is. <laughs> the Kardashians. Look, listen, think about it. Pretty much every man... That's been with one of them women. They get in a sunken place. Bruce, a woman. <laughs> Lamar on coke. <laughs> Scott being daddy. That's that's just terrible right there. <laughs> they all, it's like a it's like the curse. Man, listen. And and Ye to turn his back on the whole culture of people that put him in power. And that's in a what place hurts that, me the most. That's what hurts me the most. Is because we go from yeah. <laughs> George Bush don't like black people. Like, I really, like, Kanye was, like, my top. Like, he was, like, the man for me. Like, in high school, I was, like, he's outspoken. His heart is for the people. Like, he wants to see us strive and rule everything. Like, that's what I thought Kanye was. And then he started talking this. I'm, like, you just let all my hopes down. Like, Kanye, you are, like, my revolutionary rapper. Like, you were that. You were it for us in high school. And now it's, like. I retract everything. It's like when they take, they took down all the Cosby stuff, all his, all his statues, all his plaques, his star. I want to remove like everything I have of Kanye. Is that bad? I think you're tripping. The I music's just, still fire. I'm no, the music is, but just like having the music him on prior that pedestal, to this was still no, fire. No, like having him on that pedestal, like figuratively, having him on that pedestal. I just want to just like take, like denounce him off the, off the throne. Okay. So who the 2018 draft of the color people. <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> propose a trade. Who we gonna of trade? Kanye West. <laughs> for uh. I don't know. I take Miley Cyrus over Kanye right now. Is twerk Miley, twerking? Miley twerk. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I take Miley over Ye right now. No, you know who I would take? What's the dude's name? Um, the white white dude. The Jewish dude, oh. he'd be in all the like black movies. I gotta think of it. Tall brother. Mm, I gotta ragazine no. What? I don't know. I'll get back to you. I don't know his name. There oh. you go. Do something smart with that. Keep talking. I'm gonna find that. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my my man, yeah, he gotta come back, and and he really has to get back to his roots. And into the people and he can't be so detached uh, that year and a half I think it's been of isolation has really played a part um, within his clear understanding of where society is Michael, Michael Rappaport. Rappaport 
we trade Kanye West for Michael Rappaport. And, uh, yeah. yeah he, he's, he's a good one. There's no do-overs, no mulligans, none of that. He's with us, <laughs> period. And stamp his card. Yeah. Uh, unless he, like, really just has some great move in the next steps, then I don't, I'm going to certify him as crazy. Mm. Well, that sounds about Get right. your money, black man. Have you seen that video? It's amazing. I watched it man, listen, over and over and deep. over and over. You got to pay attention to that. Y'all check that out. Check out the... Uh, Childish, Childish Gambino. Gambino. I'm about to this is down. America. This but is it America. ties right in. Yes. This is America. It definitely does. Definitely does. Yeah, he has so many messages in that. Don't watch him. Watch Behind. everything that's going on around him. But you can Don't watch him too because his dance moves are amazing. And that's what's dope about it though, right? <laughs> like, we're watching 45. Mm -hmm. But not watching everything, everything that's going him. on around him. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we have to do. We have to be conscious mm -hmm. enough to watch everything around Because that's what they want you to do. It's, it's, it's the puppet show on the front. But, and that's why I won't turn my back on Ye. Mm. I'm going to stick with him. Mm -hmm. Because he's still one of us. Until this trade goes through. <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> you can't do that. You gotta be like Jesus. If the sheep go astray, you gotta go and leave the ninety-nine. Jesus walked on water. Yet. I can't do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is be, I'm going to it. try to be like Jesus, but I'm going to probably fall short. <laughs> Sorry, so, Father, forgive so you're gonna, me. Going to go get him until he gets traded. You're going to go back to the rest of the herd. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to leave Kanye. Like, I don't want to either. But I'm 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 but I'm nervous to see if he's going to recover from this. I don't know. Can you recover from this? If he has some really genius idea brewing up in there. I don't think he can recover from this. But from that interview, it don't look like he got no genius idea. I don't know. I don't know. It just makes me very sad. It makes me sad, and I know Jay Z is just like mm. it's Jay fault. That's big bro, you supposed to... Hey, come, what's wrong with you, bro? He's crazy. He don't listen. You said, see, I just talked to him for four hours and thought he made a, a dent in it. <laughs> you know, you know, T.I., T.I., I can really... I really wish I was a fly on the wall in it. Because, like, I see, like, eight, I see T.I. from, like, ATL. Hey, Shawty, why... But he probably was using all these big words. He, that, hey, that's where he probably lost them His vocabulary at. is crazy. He probably lost Kanye right there. Um, I don't think so. I think... I think he's just disconnected. It's, I mean, he's... We, we don't talk about it now so much, but Lil Wayne said something ridiculous. Not He doesn't, far too no long ago. racism his, or something. He doesn't, he's not exposed to racism or his fans aren't racist or something. There's no racism. There is no racism. Racism isn't real or something yeah, some, of that nature. Yeah. Something crazy. But he was, he was on opioids too, so. No, but you have the, it's, it's kind of <laughs> hard. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to, but I'm trying to defend these people a little bit. To the point where, like, when you're a star, right, you do whatever you can to remove yourself from, from everything, issue. issues from and everything issue. else that's going around you. Because you never really have a moment of normalcy in your own life. Because you have to be perfect. So you remove yourself from social media. You remove yourself from the public eye often and so on and so forth. So, like, if you're not watching the news and if you're only watching Sports Center, then you don't really know what What's the actual on? issues are. Because in your world... That's it's not happening, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that it's not real because it's not happening to you. So for him to say that he was just deflecting, he was just oblivious to the fact. But how, as a black man, be oblivious to the fact? Because if you don't see it, if I'm not looking at it, like if you don't see, if if I keep you in a basement with no sun for a year, do you eventually your mind's going to feel or think that the sun isn't coming out anymore? But he well, you won't be able to uh, to, to to be able to figure out when it's daytime, when it's nighttime. Regardless, if I took that AM and PM off the clock, you would be lost. That's what happened. They've taken someone has taken the AM and PM off their clocks, and they are lost at the sense of timing that's going on right now. God, I broke that down. He that Jeez. sounded that sounded really good, but I mean, yeah, you did. But my thing is <laughs> like, but he experienced, bit, but yeah. you, but he wasn't all he wasn't always separated from that. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? So, like, before Lil Wayne was Lil Wayne, he experienced racism. So, for him to, in this time frame where he's a celebrity, to say, okay, I'm not, I'm not indulging or exposing my mind to any of this racism doesn't exist. I don't believe that. 
because your prior knowledge shows that you you've gone through racism so you can't say unless you're just really saying it like racism doesn't exist i'm not thinking about it but it he in his consciousness he knows it exists Maybe it doesn't exist into what he may think racism actually is, which was, you know, what Martin and Malcolm and all of them went through. That would have been like extreme cases of racism. But maybe in his mild mannered thinking. He also kissed Birdman. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't listen, know if I we can. We ain't about to get in all of that. Mm -hmm. Ye said what? Listen. <laughs> Ye <laughs> said what? <laughs> anybody close to him, please, you know, I still love you, brother. And I've separated the man from the music. Now this poopity scoop thing, I ain't really <laughs> rocking with that. But the Yay versus the people and the other track, I forgot the name of it. You on to something, and I hope that you continue to put out good music. But I also need you to understand that your platform is huge, and it's imperative to you to understand that you owe North, right? And Saint. Saint in Chicago, mm -hmm. you owe them enough to understand that they're going to grow up in a society that they're viewed as. African Americans and this person that sits on a hill that's orange and that I ain't even calling him 45 no more that guy has nothing to do with us don't care about us you understand so like come back to us come we here we're gonna embrace you we might slap you in the back of the neck but it's out of love that's real love because when you remember when your mama beat you but that's, that's, that's what he was saying, though, because when they said that, the, he was like, the Crips, the Crips said they want to hurt me. He was like, but I, I take it as they just want to be like, come on, knucklehead, like, get it together. I'm going to slap you a little around so you can get some sense. Come get your lunch, bro. You. But your like, like the dude said on the interview, he said, your reality is that. But that's not our reality. Our reality yeah. is that we are being killed every day. We are being in prison every day. Yes, you got all the money. You are the celebrity on this pedestal. That's not happening to you because you are Kanye West. But all everybody else below this pedestal, we're getting we're getting attacked. So his reality and what he's trying to put on us is not the same view that we see down below. You know what I mean? I'm with you. You know what's crazy? You would have never thought that Meek Mill would be more of an activist than Kanye West. You and I was on my drive today. I was thinking like, cause he's getting all this he's getting all this media media um what do you call it notoriety from like places that would never say his name. Like that was a good, kind of like a pretty good thing he went to jail. <laughs> but mm, that's another. I don't know. Uh, mm -mm. I'm still on a roller coaster. I don't know. Is it going to stop? I don't think. I hope, I hope it does, but I don't it know. Needs to. <sighs> breaking something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that we'll see in the next few days what happens. If something comes out, if he makes a, if he makes a new move. But I don't know. It's looking pretty bleak. Pray for change. <laughs> In other news mm. of men acting crazy. Because <laughs> this is... We're not I don't know what's in the water, what happened, what about... I don't know. But I was just scrolling through my timeline the other day. <laughs> and I seen this headline with Winston Duke. That's his name, right? Winston Duke. Mbaku. Mbaku, right? Mbaku. I right. thought it was Mbaku. It's, it's an A. It ends with A. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. Monkey Man... From monkey Black man. Panther. You can't call that man a monkey. I didn't call him a monkey. No, he was a monkey man. The girl is not no monkey man. Oh, that sounded racist. Y'all know I ain't right. Racism doesn't exist. <laughs> Racism doesn't uh, exist. Drink. <laughs> Assistant, drink. Please. <laughs> Umbaku. I think it's Umbaku. Anywho. Anywho. Winston Duke. Winston Duke. I'm scrolling through and it said like, so he's with a non- melanated woman right i don't know what she is but she's not she's, melanated she's caucasian and asian is she i don't know yes. i just was scrolling she could have because you know sometimes hispanics look a little asian she's not she's she's asian and white she's caucasian and okay well not melanated asian. she's caucasian and white that's what you just said oh uh, <laughs> asian and white because caucasian has asian in it <laughs> somebody been drinking where's her cup? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we miss <laughs> Well, you know, she's Asian and white. Okay. He said that his girl helped him get over the hurt that black women have made him experience growing up. Mm. You what do you think about that? I understand. How, Sway? <sighs> he said his size and uh, his appearance was intimidating. Now, By 
of black by black women. By black women. I feel like he's probably not that far apart in age from me. Which coming up, everybody wanted I'll be sure. They wanted that light skinned dude. The little light skinned so, dude with the wavy hair. So, <laughs> so like <laughs> us dark skinned guys got teased a lot. Like girls wasn't really checking. But if you're like, if you're I, posing as a threat, you wouldn't be teased. No, nah, people pick on what's different. Or what they don't understand but about, I, like, like it's abnormal. Like kids, kids are brutal anyway. Like, freaking. They are. <laughs> they are, but for him to kind of pretty much, he has to really be truly, truly, truly wounded by multiple black women for him to say that this woman that he's with now helped him overcome this hurt. Does it have hurt. to be multiple? It, it has to be. Takes, no. It only takes one time to get hurt. And if you didn't heal from that one hurt, then that's it. Nah, because well, this is a whole nother topic, but what comes with mental, mental health and stuff. I'm not saying he's mental, mentally ill. I'm not saying that. But trauma, when trauma happens, it, the first trauma that you experience, it causes a little baby dent in your brain. Like it helps you remember mm -hmm. that pain. But it's not enough to affect your livelihood. It's not enough to affect decisions. It shouldn't be or it's not? It's not. How do you know it's not? You depending don't on the know trauma, the that's what I said. But depending on the trauma, but that's what I'm saying. Like these women must have really went in on him, for him to really be like, uh, no black women. I mean, I'm gonna be with an Asian, Asian, Caucasian. <laughs> I love my mama, so I can't ever say I don't want to be with her. But I'm thinking they must have really like, for him to say that they must have really went hard on him. It wasn't just like, oh, you're tall, you're big, you're scary. I think he too did not articulate. <laughs> Because he won't so, talk yeah. about it on any interviews now. It's like he feels like he dug us, himself a hole. But Michael B. Jordan don't talk about it either. What, did he, what is he saying? He won't acknowledge who he's dating and why. He won't. She, he's dating a white woman? I don't know. He won't speak on it. Oh, that just might he's be something else. He's on a, he was on a breakfast club earlier this week. He just might not just want people in his business. No, I think he's ducking it. He ducking a it white back. woman? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if I, I ain't going to say that. Can I say that? Should I say that? I don't think. If you have to question that, maybe not. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't want to know. I love you, sisters. Man. Mm. Uh, no, yeah, you shouldn't probably. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I will. I, I will want to. love the women, the, the sisters. No, I said you probably shouldn't say whatever you were going to say. I don't even remember what I was about to say. Oh, good. Yeah. Perfect. I'm in. <laughs> Terrible. We're not a good. But person. no, I want to hear more of his take on it because that the headline alone made me go, "Bye, Winston." Winston, say what? <laughs> It's been a week of say what. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of say what, Tristan Thompson, shut up. Don't say nothing. He's been saying all that he can say. It's not Tristan Thompson say what. It's Tristan Thompson, what did you not say? He, he blew the whistle. <laughs> he blew the whistle on the whole NBA. He said the culture is the cheat on the sleep with the groupies, right? Oh, you got the verbatim. <laughs> Oh man! I couldn't believe mm. this. The Kardashians made him. Tristan explained to Chloe that <laughs> there were women constantly throwing themselves at him, mm -mm -mm. and he felt pressured to not refuse them because it's the unspoken rule. Oh. Like, how do you not be no, able to resist? Like, what? You could just. You don't even have to do that. Mush him in the face. But what? <laughs> he <didn't> try to get <laughs> charges. <laughs> no, you don't even put yourself in that situation. Yeah, it's like, like you. You, he just made himself look like a, a geek because he's saying I couldn't resist. Now, nope. Mm. Listen, don't know what's going on, but I do believe what my mama used to say. You lose them, how, how you got them. And I'll just say that and leave it there. Cause I, was, I hope that they repair their family and they move forward in a positive, strong-minded nature moving forward. I don't have any empathy or sympathy for it. I'm even thinking, too. I'm thinking, because you know how the him, Kardashians move. You know how they work, right? What yeah. if it really wasn't a monogamous, monogamous relationship from jump? What if it just got out that he was out doing whatever? You know, you know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. You don't? Mm -mm. What if it was an understanding between them two? Like, I just want a baby. Go. You can go do whatever. Uh, no. You don't think that don't could think be that. a possibility? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't know. You never I do know think what the Kardashians. They, I do think that they exploit anything and everything that they go through for yeah. the, for the opportunity know. to gain from it. I just don't trust them. Mm. I, I don't know. Because they were just at Cheesecake Factory look, yesterday. Who goes to Cheesecake Factory? I think it was Cheesecake. It looked like Cheesecake in the picture. Mm. 
<laughs> with the baby and everything. Mm. Yeah, this week is not good for the men's, okay? Bro, we coming back strong next week. Well, somebody Happy better make bust a move. Mm. I'm going to start it right here, right now. We rich by heart. You see that? We rich by heart. And, um, yeah. Bust a move. Because, yeah, because it's going down here for the brothers this week. They're not helping. <laughs> They're not helping us right now. I want to know what everybody else thinks about Kanye and Tristan and Winston Duke. <laughs> what a name like Winston Duke? Though. You would think mm -mm. he mm -hmm. probably got changed with his name. He you probably think? changed his name. Me in Hollywood, he probably changed his you name. Think that's today. not his name. Tom Cruise name ain't Tom Cruise. Yeah, and Brad Pitt name ain't Brad Pitt. Yeah, it ain't. Aston Kutcher name ain't Aston Kutcher. Yeah. Is Denzel really Denzel Washington? I believe. Mm. Might be. Never mind. Listen, y'all, let us know what y'all think. Please subscribe to YouTube and the podcast iTunes, on iTunes. Yes, yes. Do it. Get with us. Yeah, and I wanna I really wanna know what people think because I, I think it's going it's a divide in the, the thinking of Kanye and uh the people. We'll see. Mm. But we need to come together. So let's find one happy accord. Come to together. Right now. This is Kirk in out on Instagram and this is Shy Show Bob underscore. <laughs> Check us out. It's listen, been a pleasure. Listen to the podcast, y'all. Peace.